Well, I want to fax to Mars. There's a strange new virus going around. Right here it is in black and white. This is not a conspiracy theory. And virtually nobody's ever heard of it, except maybe some medical personnel. But I've never heard of this. Uh, it's called an adenal virus. And. It can cause very severe flu-like symptoms. It's so risky that the U.S. military vaccinates recruits against two major strains. I never heard of this, and I'm starting to wonder if this is something that uh, has been around for a while, or whether this is something new, as in read a bioweapon. I don't know. Most people are not vaccinated against the dental virus, and the doctor's offices don't test for it. Adriana Cajun, PhD, wants that to change. Unless you look for it or you suspect it's circulating or you're using diagnostic testing equip capabilities that can tell it apart, you're going to miss it, especially during flu season, said Cajun, an infectious disease specialist at Lovelace. Respiratory Research Institute in Albuquerque. They're seeing very severe, they're seeing severe adult infections. Cajun told NBC News. That's a big deal, especially for a disease that by all means is vaccine preventable. But this vaccine is not licensed for use to be used in civilians. I'll say that again. This vaccine is not licensed to be used in civilians. Now that's very interesting. I don't remember... I grant you, every uh, payday you would uh, line up for your check and you'd roll up your sleeves and then be poking something in you. But, uh... I never heard of this. I was in the military, I never heard of it. Then I'm licensed. Virus infections often look like common cold or influenza, it cause fever, headache, body aches, and sometimes they're not always cough, stomach distress, and breathing problems. Some strains cause eye infections. There are 52 different strains. I never heard of this. I don't think anybody has. Other than doctors, Cajun and Colleagues collected details of adenal virus infections between 2011 and 2015 at colleges, nursing homes, and elsewhere. On the basis of severity of the clinical presentation of some cases in this article, the adenal vaccine currently licensed for military use should be considered a potentially valuable response to prevent disease in susceptible populations living in closed communities such as college settings, summer camps, and long-term and nursing homes. I hate it when they use euphemisms. Nursing homes. They wrote in a report published this week in the journal Emerging Infectious Diseases. And this goes on and on. So take a quick look at the CDC site. Just so, uh, you know, your chain's not being jerked on this. Dental viruses can cause a wide range of illnesses such as the common cold. That's strange. Sore throat, bronchitis, pneumonia, diarrhea, pink eye, fever, bladder, inflammation. Inflammation of the stomach and intestines, neurologic, neurological disease. Well, where did this thing come from? I never heard of it. Somebody's jerking our chains, and I don't like that. It's unlikely that this is a bioweapon. 
However, it's somebody, like I said, it's not, this thing came from out of nowhere and nobody's ever heard of it before. That throws up red flags like that. I wouldn't think, I don't think it's a bioweapon, but it's got to throw up red flags when these people have never told us about this. No information has ever been put out about it, and then all of a sudden it pops up out of nowhere. Oh, yeah, there's this flu-like virus called an adenovirus. Something isn't right here, folks. I don't know what. And that's not a conspiracy theory. All I'm saying is, why hasn't the public been informed before now? That's what I'm asking. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Oh, boy. Not again. Thanks for watching.